happening now, tornadic activity reported in Warren County. Our expert analysis, next. A child is reportedly recovering after being struck by a car. Police say the female driver had no license. And the Jamestown Jammers are on a roll. We check in at the ballpark today, Monday, June 19th, 2017. Live and on demand from the Chautauqua Audio Works Studios, where interest-free financing is just one phone call away. This is Morning News Now. And a big welcome to you. I'm Justin Gould. And I'm Kyle Helis. Our top story, the National Weather Service is investigating potential tornadic activity this past weekend. That's right, Kyle. The National Weather Service says there's still some work to do before they can proclaim tornadic activity occurred in Warren on Sunday. Paul Head, he's with the National Weather Service in State College, Pennsylvania. Looks like it was either a downburst or uh, maybe a, a small tornado, but we don't know for sure yet. We communicate with the emergency management folks, and if they see that the uh, winds were convergent, where the trees fall to a common center, then we come up and look at it to make sure that it's a tornado. Um, if they think that all the trees are laid down in the same direction or they're in a divergent pattern, we don't need to come up. Head said he hasn't heard from the emergency management team in Warren County yet. Once that happens, the National Weather Service can make an official determination. Ellicott police have identified the woman who struck a 14-year-old bicyclist on Falconer Monday. Police say Stephanie Daniels was driving without a license at the time of the accident. The boy was star-flighted to Buffalo Women's and Children's Hospital, where he is listed in stable condition. Daniels was ticketed for unlicensed operation. She's due in court at a later date. And the Jamestown Jammers' most recent victory gives them nine wins in a row. The Red Hot Jammers shut out Almira on Sunday, 2 to nothing. The Jammers travel to Geneva next. And an alarming amount of Chautauqua County children are growing up in single-parent families. That story next, but first, here's a look at your forecast. Things are clearing out and warming up for today. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies with a high around 70 degrees. As we transition into tonight, we could pick up a few late scattered thunderstorms. That would push over into the morning, a low near 58. On our Tuesday, back up to the 70s with off and on storms possible. Those storms continuing into Wednesday with a shout and warming up for today. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies with a high around 70 degrees. As we transition into tonight, we could pick up a few late scattered thunderstorms. That would push over into the morning, a low near 58. On our Tuesday, back up to the 70s with off and on storms possible. Those storms continuing into Wednesday with a chance of rain in the high around 70. Looking towards Thursday and on into the weekend, upper 70s with off and on storms. Morning News Now continues next. Stay. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. A licensed therapist who works with mentally ill children says a good number of kids that he comes in contact with are producing are, are products rather of a one-parent home. Therapist Sam Zia, who hails from Cleveland but practices psychology in Los Angeles, says kids who don't have parents in the home are at a distinct disadvantage. The ones that unfortunately don't have dad or the mom, either one, it makes it so that it changes the decision-making process. Whatever that one parent says goes. So if there's something that that parent may be not paying attention to that the other parent is noticing, it makes it so that both parents can really support each other in raising the kid. Now, according to the latest numbers from the Centers 
for disease control and prevention, nearly 40% of children in Chautauqua County grow up in single-parent homes. A Buffalo man charged with murdering Jamestown native Christian Piazza is scheduled to appear in courtroom today in Buffalo. The 16-year-old was shot to death last October. Lauren Goines is charged with second-degree murder and criminal possession of a weapon. Jamestown's newest vape shop is Cloud City, located at 121 East 2nd Street and open 11 to 7 Monday through Saturday. This cool, fresh environment is a great place to hang with friends and vape. Cloud City's expert staff is here to help. Try their in-house flavor, Cloud City, a delicious marshmallow combination, or their flavor of the day for just $3. Whether you're a first-time vapor or an expert puffer, visit Cloud City today. Jamestown High School has announced their valedictorian and salutatorian. Kelly Emerson will give the valedictorian speech while Madison Card will give the salutatorian. Both ladies have received numerous awards for their successes. And now, Kyle, the JHS commencement is scheduled for this Thursday at the Chautauqua Institution. That should be a good time. That's always a beautiful place. I, I didn't have the uh, pleasure of graduating at Chautauqua Institution, no. but I did graduate at the Reg A Civic Center. So. And both of those girls are, are very talented, so good luck to them and everyone in the uh, JHS class. Congratulations to yeah. everybody from the class of 2017, not just from Jamestown, no, but, but all over Falconer, Chautauqua County. Maple Grove, Chautauqua Lake, Panama, uh, Lakewood, no, Southwestern. I think they the, get the point. I think they get the idea. That's going to do it for today. We're back Tuesday with another edition of Morning News Now. And join our social media revolution by following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. See you tomorrow.